there was a new cager. Cager! So we're stepping back into the cager for Yuval Adler's movie, Sympathy for the Devil. Mm. And this movie, the main character is actually Joel Kinnaman. He's, he's, uh, he plays the driver. And he's on his way to the hospital because his wife is going into labor. And he gets to the parking garage at the hospital. And then this mysterious man hops in this backseat and at gunpoint, he's like, you know, it tells him to drive out of town. And the mysterious man is called The Passenger. And that is Oscar winner Nicolas Cage. And uh, it's actually a return to Las Vegas for Cage. Uh, the movie's set in and around that beautiful city. But um, as the movie goes along, and it doesn't really go along for very long. It's like a very crisp 90 minutes. Uh, you, you start to learn exactly what's going on. And it's nothing's really what uh, meets the eye, I guess. Um, and it plays around with you with stories and outbursts until it really reaches a boiling point, and then uh, everything comes up, becomes very apparent what's going on. Um, the cage is absolutely on fire in this. He is diabolically kooky, and it's so it's like he's like hilarious and incredibly dangerous at the same time. It gives like you and the driver like this uneasy feeling because his motivations are so unclear for so much of the movie and his appearance and demeanor is just absurd he has this like ridiculous boston accent and he is he's got a really weird get up and he's got bright ass red hair um and it makes you question what is happening and or if it's actually real uh, but uh, he has some pretty wild monologues and freakouts too, like stuff that immediately goes into the Nicolas Cage losing his shit YouTube video uh, conversation. If if they're ever gonna update that shit, um, it, it's it's definitely a choice, uh, and I I, I I love what he is doing here. Kinnaman's playing against type; he's really good too. I've always I've always been a fan. But this movie has its like B movie feel, where it would never see the light of day if some A lister hadn't signed onto it. And uh, it, but it doesn't feel like the other cagers that are kind of like that because this one has like so much style. It's like you take gunpowder milkshake and mix it with baby driver, but put it into the plot of collateral. And it, it, it's, it's something, it's something else. This director, I, I haven't seen any of his other movies, but he had a movie come out a few years ago with like new mirror Pass and Chris Messina. Um, I don't know. It going too much more into the plot would ruin some of the surprises. Uh, it, some of it may seem inevitable, but like, I didn't know what was going on for the majority of this thing that, but it does get a little rushed in the end. It's only 90 minutes. So it's not going to really be a burden on you, whether you buy it or not. I kind of bought it. I'm, I'm, I really want to give it three stars, but it's just going to be just below that. I'm putting it two and a half stars, which gives it number 46 on the cager between the weatherman and kill chain. But um, it's definitely worth checking out. If this comes on free anywhere, I, I definitely recommend turn it on because, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's fun. So why are you giving it two and a half? Come on, man. Just give it three. It sounds amazing. I, w I wouldn't actually like... Uh, <laughs> like like rent it i mean i rented it but i mean i I, w I wouldn't say like that like go go out of your way to watch it but if it's if it's available to watch turn it on so that's the threshold to, for you between a two and a half and a three star movie is it's worth <laughs> spending money on that's an interesting well, when, when you threshold. get down to the minute details of where it's like really close then yeah i mean that'd be the one thing that'll push it over the edge i guess i think the quote of that review was uh joel kinnaman plays against type he's good <laughs> That's not, okay. I mean, you could clip that if you wanted. To. That's, not, that's not how I said it. No, but that, that's that's how it sounded. 